that audience of those of us who go to work and we save and we go and we buy one bag a year you could argue that these big brands don't care about people like us but the fact is if you think of how many of us are doing that thousands hundreds of thousands millions of people globally who go and buy one bag a year don't tell me that by losing that customer base that the brands haven't noticed hey everyone welcome to another video if you are new thank you so much for joining me and if you're one of my regulars welcome back let's talk about what realistically what iconic brands are out there that are still a reasonable price we all know that everything's going up and I know that loads of you watch because you aspire to own various items, you're saving and something that drives me mad and I know something that a lot of you have written to me about that drives you mad is you're saving. Just when you've reached the point where you've made enough money to go and buy the item, you go into the store and it's had a price increase and you, you've then got to go back to saving again. And particularly with some brands where they have multiple price rises a year, it can be really hard to keep up with it and actually you can get in a spiral if you never quite have enough money to get it. So the question is, what is out there, if you're watching this thinking, gone are the days where I, yes I want a certain bag, but gone are the days where I'm really going to go and spend £4,000 on a bag. What can you get that's iconic, that's classy, that's long term, but that is under 2000 and actually in this video I've got loads of items that are under £1,000. I'm going to start with the most, ex no actually I'm going to start, I'm going to start with one of the least expensive and it's one that I'm surprised at the price of it actually. It's from Longchamp and for any of you watching if you know the Le Pliage, which is like, you know the nylon bag and it's got that, the little leather bit that clips on over the top. If you're watching this thinking, oh, I know about that bag, but I don't really like it. I, I Go and have a look at Longchamp because in recent years, they seem to have come out with bags that aren't that bag. They still do that bag and that's a very classic bag. But if you want something structured that's more of a handbag, go and take a look. This is one that I found when I was looking on there. It's a top handle. It actually comes with a crossbody strap that clips on either side here. And I will show you in this video what fits and everything and, and style them on. The le It's kind of like a mini satchel design. And it I've already tried it. It fits my stuff, but I'll show you in here uh, the stuff that it fits. It's... There's, I can't talk more highly about their quality. Their quality is really good. So that's the first, and I will put in here how much it is just so that you know. I do have a coupon code that works on these items, and I will put the coupon code and what it is below. Um, and yeah, it gets you a bit of a discount on everything that I'm gonna show you in this video. So, so the prices that I'm gonna put in the description, bear in mind that those prices are without the discount applied. Now for the best buy. This is what I'm talking about with these brands coming out with items that are slotting into that market that they ended up losing when they put up all of their prices. And that we have a lot of conversations on here about how brands don't care because they're aiming after the super rich potentially and the super rich don't care, they're still gonna buy bags. But my point that I made a couple of videos ago is that that market of those of us who work and we save and we go and buy a bag, that's not a group of people to be sniffed at because ha think about how much money we're also spending there think about how many people are just like us where we go to work and we work and we go and save something and we go and buy it take away that chunk of the market and I do think these brands are going to start to feel it I, I honestly do and this is a great example from Balenciaga of a bag where I feel like they've looked and they've gone oh, okay we don't have anything that will go up against the likes of Jacquemus, even Gucci. Gucci are coming out with bags now that are under a thousand pounds. And I think that more brands are seeing that, the ones that care anyway. Some brands are seeing that and they're thinking, right, there's money to be had there. This I think is my best buy. This is a camera bag, it's Balenciaga. And it is under £700. And not only that, but it's not a micro bag. You know, about a year ago, when I used to do these videos, before I feel like more brands were kind of jumping into that under £1,000 space, whenever I used to do under £1,000 bags, they were always micro bags that you could fit like a business card and a lipstick in. 
Now, things are changing. So keep an eye out. I think this is a really good one to go for. It's got a pocket on the back as well. So if you like wanted to keep your phone in there or something so that you're not having to go in and out of the bag, you can do that. And this is also removable. So let's say you want to change up the handle. You can remove this, go onto the likes of Etsy. And as I've shown you before, you can get on there really good bag, bag handles that you could attach onto this to give it like a different totally different vibe. Another great brand that I have bought clothing from, but never a bag. And this is gonna be very much first impression because I haven't opened it. And it's come packaged like this. It's moved a bit. Everything is from Farfetch. And what you will find with Farfetch is when you order from there, everything comes wrapped differently because Farfetch is basically a platform where small boutique shops globally can list their items on there. And because of that, all these different boutiques wrap things differently. But I find Farfetch genuinely really good because you can find things on there that aren't necessarily available in your country. So I've had that before with Jordans. I've got a pair of Jordans that I really wanted, but you could only get them in the US found them on Farfetch being sold by a department store in Texas and I was able to buy them. So it is pretty handy from that point of view, especially with this brand. This brand is one that I love and I don't know whether it's changed now, but it's an Italian brand called Elisabetta Franchi. And it's this is one that I first came across when I went to Rome years ago and I walked in the shop and I loved everything that I saw. And I tried to buy it online, but because it comes from Italy, you're paying customs on it and you but you can buy it on Farfetch and the customs I think the customs are already included you know because I've never had to pay customs on Farfetch items when they've arrived so this is it a really cute little tote bag and on the front of it it's got the monogram logo it's a pretty big size as well but it's not um it's not like it's not mini but neither is it massive and it's also got a crossbody strap so if you don't want to carry it by the top handles you can wear it on your shoulder or crossbody i'm actually very impressed by this the clothes are good the clothes are very good but this bag oh it's even got like metal feet on the bottom of it going back to balenciaga i have had lots of you in the comments asking me to get this bag and do a review and it's from balenciaga and you might look at it and go that's not new, I already know like, know that bag. The shape of it is not new, but I think it's called, correct me if I'm wrong, I think this is how you pronounce it, Kagol. There are two versions of this. There is the like a crescent moon type shape, which looks like this, but you can also get, I think this is called the city bag, something, city bag. But the, the thing that this comes with is you have a little wallet on the front, but you also have this cute, heart shape dangling mirror and all of the um different to one i've got actually all of the studs on it are kind of uh, engraved like that this you this bag you can get in different colors like loads of different colors actually leather this happens to be denim and i thought i would get the denim and try this because it's so different to anything that I've shown you before. And for those of you who watch these videos, you will already know that you can get a discount on Balenciaga anyway. So you don't need me showing you stuff that I've already shown you. But I saw this and I thought this is quite new. It looks quite different. I've got two more bags to go, which again, come back to that point that I was making of bags that are under a thousand pounds that you would be surprised about and the the brands that have blatantly seen that and they're taking advantage of it and good for them and good for us as well if you like that uh balenciaga bag that i just showed you and you're like oh the heart thing on it's really cute but it's a lot of money take a look at this i for the price i've got to be honest i did not think that this was going to be 10 out of 10 quality for the price, I thought it's cute, it's chic, it looks in a way, you know, it's got the heart-shaped pouch on the side of it. I thought, you know, that's a good alternative to the Balenciaga if you like the vibe of that bag, but I wasn't expecting this quality. This is by Versace. It's incredibly soft and buttery. It, as I, get, as I say, for the money, I didn't expect 
to get this sort of quality of bag. Now you can also remove this heart shape pouch on the side. So if you wanted to pin it to a different bag or you know, like just remove it from this, you can. Um, this is a camera bag, it's a decent size. Look at the size of it there. Um, it's got two inner zip sections. Big enough to keep your stuff, definitely. Um, and it comes with a crossbody strap. And then one final one, a brand that I feel are on their way up massively. It's from Jacquemus and it's, it's new out. The style of bag is not new, but the finish of it is new. And it's like a teddy bear finish. This is the La Chiquito, I think it's called, bag. You can get it in various leathers and the discount works on all of these bags, okay? So if you like the shape, but you don't like this sort of teddy kind of material, then you can go on there and you can purchase whatever you want, like whatever colors you want. I think we're gonna see loads more brands, you know, coming into this space, seeing that by putting up their prices, they've actually lost themselves money with a really important segment of their audience. People who used to buy stuff, who now have been priced out. And it, in my opinion, they will have noticed uh, that in their bottom line. Can you imagine, think about, the size of audience of people that, as I say, as I said earlier, are like us, and we go to work and we work and we save. That's a big chunk of people. You might get those of us who only buy like one bag a year and say, "Well, what do these big brands care about someone who's buying one bag a year?" But you imagine hundreds, thousands, millions of people buying one bag a year. How much money does that equate to and add up to? And by removing quality items that are under 2k definitely under a thousand pounds i reckon they've seen a difference there i reckon they've noticed it and i think that's why we're seeing more and more decent iconic brands coming out with products that sit in that price bracket please let me know what you think though i would love to get your opinions on this and let me know what you think about these bags are there any that you really like are there any that you don't like so much perhaps are there bags on Farfetch at the moment that you've been looking at and you know with Cyber Weekend and everything coming up um now is a good time to like go and have a look really uh what else was going to say that was it thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video